hour three of this exhilarating Wednesday, July 20th. Badass Woman Wednesday begins now. That's right. Right. Oh, wow. I mean, that was pissed. The boring. disrespect. Jesus Christ. How can we? Bitch. I'm on a delay from you guys, first off. I said it right on time. Oh, that's our fault, obviously. You go on no, your seventh your vacation. Uh, yeah. How do we get better internet down there? Is there any way to not get better? Internet. Internet's okay, but it's FaceTime because when I do it uh, even back home with, uh, you know, legit, you know, plugged in, it's, uh, it's still that? like delayed a little bit. <laughs> Who's that? What the fuck's going on? Is Who's that, that Axel? Axel? You got a lot of stuff happening, bro. It'll be good. <laughs> the beginning of the last hour. When you were starting. Hey, by the way, right. real quick before you get that, Vetter took a dump on the little baby sailboat we were in. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Beast. I had to pump it. You have to pump. It's a marine toilet. You got to pump it to get it out. <laughs> I'm just pumping these little turds everywhere. It was terrible. <laughs> no, like death. That's awesome. But yeah, what were you saying? Can't, well, what I was going to say is maybe there was a little bit of a lingering effect from the dump on the sailboat. You did not seem to be about anything the beginning of last hour. I what asked you, you a couple questions. You were giving me four word answers. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you remember that? Oh, like, yeah. Four word answers, like, what of it? It's like, oh, this, <laughs> is this guy, are you guys okay? No, this is my problem. I get distracted. Okay, so this stupid camera that follows me around on this new iPad, at least on my end of the screen right now, it cuts off half my face. Is that how it shows no. on the feed? No, no you look very perfect. good. Okay, good. Because if you see, if you notice, I've been chasing this camera all day long. I'm, I got to stop doing that. Now, can you get up real quick and see how much it will follow you? No. But oh, yeah. oh, oh, the whole thing. Oh. It works. Hey, that thing's going wherever you go, pal. That thing works for you. That's really That's cool. Sweet. That actually is pretty good. That's the Al Michaels setup. Yeah. Thank you, Al. Football national champion, a Super Bowl champion, a COVID survivor, a Ryder Cup champion, a man who beat me at golf at American Century Championship because he's a sandbagger for $50,000. Uh-huh. The ever traveling, always vacationing, AJ Hawk. What's up, dude? What's up? This is horizontal, so I can't. I got the cameras over here, even though it should be up top. So we got. How's it look? You look great. Yeah, perfect. I'm in Saudi Arabia. I'm not in Charleston. <laughs> ah, quick flight. <laughs> what are you doing? You you making a deal? Cash. I'm trying to figure things out over here. You guys were so upset yesterday. I'm trying to get things squared away. Upset. We were not upset. We were strictly <laughs> just pointing out the hypocrisies uh-huh. of attacking athletes when it appears as if every other company has benefited. From the same place. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting into it. We spent all day yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was the first time, AJ, where we talked about basically one subject for three hours. Can't do it again. Won't do it again. But I w- yesterday, I feel like we really did the world a mm-hmm. service, AJ. And we don't know. We don't ever do that on this show. I, I didn't get to see the first hour. How was the response from everything online? Like, did you do? I, was it what you expected? I stayed off my phone last night. I assume there was just a. <laughs> yeah. I assume there was people that are on the one side, people on the other side. And we didn't really, you know, it's hard to put out three hours of conversation on the Twitter. So you got people asking a lot of questions on one particular video. And then I'll, am I going to be, all right, so my copy and link for other Twitter video yeah. that has every rebuttal to this fucking person's tweet right here. No, I'm not going to do it. So I just stayed off the internet, watched the All-Star game, worked mm-hmm. out a little bit, did my thing. We have, there's a developing story happening on the internet. And uh, you're the perfect person to have on. Sure. J.K. Dobbins just dunked on you so hard. Oh. J.K. Dobbins in a response to Ian Rappaport being on NFL Network. <laughs> Ian Rappaport on NFL Now on NFL Network. Currently happening today. Ravens running back. J.K. Dobbins is no sure thing for week one. He hasn't had any setbacks, but his knee injury was a serious one. And Baltimore has no incentive to rush him back. They protected themselves with veteran Mike Davis. Regardless, J.K. Dobbins quote tweets this video from NFL Network and Ian Rapport says, okay, I'm tired of being quiet. Come to me for your source rap sheet because I might not even go on PUP, physically unable to perform list because that's how good my rehab is going and I'm damn sure going to be ready for week one. Suck it. Loser. That's what J.K. Dobbins just did to you, dude. That's crazy. That's happening right now. 
Hey, put that back up, uh, Mitt, please. Please put that back up, Mitt. What time is this from? Oh, we don't have the time on it. It's like one uh, thirty something. That's like 15 minutes ago. How are you even still alive? So oh! J.K. Dobbins. That's unbelievable, man. Wow, you're living in Yeah, the I mean, I don't know if that's what that. You're, you're in the paint like this. You're jumping like this. Yeah. And J.K. Dobbins like, yeah, yeah. Right on top mm -hmm. of you, dude. I seen it. It just happened on the internet. Wow. Sorry, wow. buddy. Moment of silence, please, <laughs> for Rappaport. No. He had nah. sources. Those sources nah. were wrong. Ian Rappaport was once an uh, insider for the NFL. No. no he no, is no. done. No, 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 no. All right, no. What caused the passing? J.K. Dobbins, dunk it on your face, Ian. Uh, How do you feel no. about that, Bob? How do you feel about what's going uh, on? I hope for J.K. Dobbins' sake that he is ready for week one. That would be great for him. I will stick with the uh, person who told me this. I'm very, 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 very comfortable with the source of this wow. report. This guy. Here we go again. And uh, <laughs> I hope he's ready for week one because that would be great. Would Didn't say he's say. not going to be. Just said... It's no sure thing, and the Ravens protected themselves. But, uh, you know, I hope that he ends up being right. That would be a great outcome for all sides. And I hope that they don't rush him because that was a very, very serious knee injury. Hey, JK, JK's a dog. Dog. I fucking love JK. I love that he dunked on you, too. Go ahead, AJ. <laughs> I mean, Ian. look, can, can I just say one thing about this? Yes. He should. Like, if I'm able to – you, I mean, you know where I stand on this stuff, right? Like, if I'm able to say – what I believe from a very good source publicly, he should be able to re react Absolutely. without me like going into a corner and crying. Like it's okay. Actually, it's good actually. That's he why we just. To say that. That's why we just presented it the way it did. By the way, I mean, yeah. I don't know how many other. Yeah, insiders, I mean, it wasn't a joke. Yeah. I, know <laughs> I don't know how many other insiders we could be like. <laughs> Kirkjian tosses them BP every day. Really? Love you, Tim. They're they're boys. Really? It makes sense, actually. I mean, what do you want me to do? Put me in a compromised position here. Doesn't he know? talk trash to him as he's throwing him BP? No, he's pretty excited because he's out well, there throwing with him. Well, does yeah. Well, you tell us. Yeah. Stephen A., I'm about to fucking burn one right past you. <laughs> <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Close Can we have Kirchin on? That's excited. That's excited. That's excited. Yeah, Tim exactly yeah. exactly yeah. like him. That is not what he sounds like all the time for no. those like What's me. What's the other version then? Can Ty do the other version? He's, he was kind of like um, melancholy almost. Mm -hmm. I heard him. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was more like uh, he was in super like grateful and gratitude uh -huh. yeah. for baseball when I heard him give a speech. 1.30 a.m. I was listening to that, and yeah. I'm like, holy shit, we fucking buried this guy. No. And then now everybody's fine. No, it's excited, Tim. That sounds exact. That's I right. got random people tweeting me from the baseball community, I guess, going, Ty's spot on with excited yeah. Tim. See? You guys lied to me, I think, though. I no, did not. Because no, no, no. he did the uh, thing about seeing the box score about a double play being turned a certain way yesterday. Mm -hmm. And that sounded exactly like how Tim explained how you can look at the box scores. I just feel like we didn't get all the details right when I said that's actually what he sounds like, or are we pissing this guy off? And no, you guys go, oh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's what he sounds 100%. like. Tim doesn't get pissed off. Yet. I'm sure he's okay with it. He's just looking yeah. at box scores. Tim gets fired up, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, he gets fired yeah. up. But I don't think he's mad, though. <laughs> Never. What's he fired up about? Anything in, in specific or? Well, like I said, you know, you look at a box score, he says something along the lines of like, nine, six, one. I haven't seen a double play turn like that in 50 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? I got to pay attention to Tim Kirk. Jack. He's the fucking oh, man, dude. It sounds like he air being baseball. let out of a balloon, bro. Uh, <laughs> Not like his, his, I don't Does know. Does Todd do the melancholy too? The I, other one? I don't know. Yeah, he, nah, can't. Pretty That's, standard voice. Yeah, there. exactly. If you want to see Tim Kirk and juiced up go look at any of like the him and scott van pelt talking and scott van pelt to do like a baltimore accent and kirkson just loses it yeah. laughing oh, giggling yeah. just, uh -huh. <laughs> he, he will for yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable oh, it's awesome it's unbelievable no i yeah. do not know this guy at all oh yeah i know nothing about this human other than what i've experienced mm -hmm. here and uh I can't believe I've lived my life this long without him, to be honest. If this is what he is. Hall of Fame it is. I cannot believe. If you close your eyes and you listen to Ty do that, and oh. then you listen to a Tim Kirchner club, you can't distinguish the two. All right, let's get to a break, please. Jeez. I'm going to do that later. You can't. It's, it's unbelievable. All right, let's do music down for a second. Please give us excited Tim Kirkigen going into a break with an hour three on the other side with Dana White joining us.
Dana White's coming on the other side with the UFC card of the year coming up. And we just had Dansby Swanson. He's one of the reasons I love baseball more than anything. We'll see you for hour three. Boom. All right. <laughs> it was Tim, I, I, eyes back closed. in five minutes. So good. Tim Kirsch. Is right it? There. We don't know. Ty needs his own show as Tim. Uh, if that's Tim, Tim needs his own show. Yeah. Why is Tim not on first take every morning? It's a great question. Because they don't want to fucking feeling. body bagging Stephen A. every day. <laughs> What yeah. would he say? What would he say when Stephen A. goes? Baseball is losing more numbers at a grotesque amount than any other sport in history. Wrong. <laughs> That's just wrong. You just keep saying wrong, and then probably start laughing. Ooh. You can text him. Nah, I'm not gonna we need to get Chris deal. on as well because I need to know what his accent is going to be. He's doing the voice of Mario, so I need to. Uh, yeah. Chris Pratt's doing Mario. Yeah, yeah, he's Mario. People are pissed. They're not happy. What if oh, he goes no. up? What if that is should. every that is, single line? What I, if, who's got the pasta and the pipes for me to jump into? What if that's what Chris Pratt's... I would need to see his genealogy report to see if that was okay or not. It's a massive chance. That's I just said so all the Italians that are watching that were offended by what Diggs said earlier today. I am 0.01% Italian. I have a pinky ring on. Get off my fucking back. But if Chris Pratt's audition was... That's fucked up. He got the job. Yeah. 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 And I'm assuming that's not what he did. I'm assuming that's not what he did. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, Just, especially if like Disney's making chance. a movie. They don't fucking care. Is Coppola directing the Mario and Luigi Let movie? Me see. Or? <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe so. Who's Coppola? Uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, you piece of, of shit. Yeah. Take a seat, pal. Take a lap. Dude, take Jeez. a fucking lap. I don't know any of these people. We've been doing this for a Feels little like bit. Feels like a couple fucking. Mario and Luigi. Fucking. You don't know who Mario and Luigi are? I know who they are. Coppola, the guy who acted like as Coppola Mario? is related to Nicolas Cage. Are you Nicolas okay? Cage's last name is Coppola. What? Oh, that narrows it down. Yeah. Francis Ford Coppola is yeah. Nicolas Cage's uncle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. Yep. Francis Coppola is, uh, not only does he have a great wine and loves wine. Mm, sure. This guy fucking loves wine. Oh, I've had that one. His palate, yeah. His palate is maybe the most sophisticated in the history of palates, this fucking guy. Also, the fucking mm. director of Godfather. Oh, of course. That's Don't what I was going to say. A lot of other stuff, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Godfather 2. Like, what? Godfather yeah. 3. His niece. Yes. Boom. His niece is a big part of this guy. Too. This guy's just plugged into the... I didn't know he's just plugged into Hollywood. Nicholas Cage is fucking a paisan. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were actually... How Ky come he's not called... Kyle Brandt was yeah. actually talking about... Cagellini. Cagellini. <laughs> on Good Morning. <laughs> it's Coppola. Why, so why is Nicholas he... Cage... He hates being Italian like you wow. do? Wow. Well, no, I think he wanted to no. differentiate. He wanted to separate himself. Yes, like he correct. wouldn't be his own guy. Hey, I would like to be Nicholas Cage. Cage of Vecchio. <laughs> oh can do that. That's actually not insulting at all. That's actually a pretty good name. Yeah, that would have been sick. You Did grew, you, you grew up next. What? Whoa. Whoa. Well, you How do you spell it? your last name, Dick? Say it again. DiGiulio. <laughs> that's a better name. Hey, that's better. Coach DiGiulio. Coach DiGiulio. That's how do you spell it, Diggs? Don't worry about it. I'll text you. No, I don't know anybody's name on the show. It's just it's like a running thing. I don't know any of your names. You know my name? You don't know Con Con, Con Man. Man. Okay, so you know Evie, my name. who's not here. Yeah. You know ZD, obviously. No, definitely don't know anything about Z. <laughs> well, neither do we. Hell yeah. I'll show you my license. <laughs> I'll show you my license at the uh, Buckeye Bash that you're throwing this year. Oh yeah, that's okay. right. Sounds All good. of our invitations got lost in the mail yeah. again this year. What? Got a table. I heard. Oh, that's, that's weird. a shame. What? Come on down, guys. You oh, got a table? That's not no, official. I'm not taking that one. I wish we could house you, but you can come. Maybe well, that's the thing. I don't know if me and uh, my wife are going to be able to make it this year. Thought I was staying with Pistol. <laughs> Chopper? He lives, lives about an hour and a half away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take it. Because Deshaun Watson and David Mulligato were able to do it. But I just assumed that the card... <laughs> I mean, I got... It's a... We're on a... It's like everything is being held together by like... It's it's all about to fall, is what I'm saying. Anxiety at an oh, all-time yeah. high. Let's you seem go. very comfortable. You seem very comfortable. When that fell, your face didn't th say like, well, that was only well, a matter of time. Basically is what you said. My iPad, my iPad is on the verge. It's sitting on top of a pillow. I've been trying to get this hype situation. But yeah, continue. I'm sorry, Kyle Murray. No, no, you're okay. Like I, by the way, I, as somebody who has had to do shows from mm -hmm. hotels, I can understand the real struggle of not getting the thing to stay up at the uh -huh. right angle and if you have different heights of things you know like maybe there'll be a bible there you can put that thing up on top of a desk maybe a chair you can always do work so i appreciate the struggle but also how is vacation going pretty good you guys having a good time vet or shitting any more boats or anything like that 
we have not been on any more sailboats to uh, to let my kids take dump in their little toilets. But it's been good, man. It's been fun. But this place like flooded last night after the show. There's a part downtown where you go where my kids were walking. Oh, yeah. My kids were walking and during the show, and they got stuck somewhere in a downtown area, and the water was legit waist high, like up. As veteran them said, it was past their dawn. Like that's how, like, <laughs> that's awesome. how old's veteran? Six. Six year old describing things uh, past, uh, past his past dawn. Yeah. dawn. Vetter has shit in a sailboat. He has experienced floods past his dawn. <laughs> and he drank beer. What? More what? specifically, Budweiser. What? At a Lord Stanley Cup last week. Vetter might be a 45 year old man next year, but I, uh, getting back to that. By the way, we hope you're having a good time. It yeah. sounds, yeah. there's always something, by the way, with the Hawks. Good luck. When the Hawks are on the road, it's, it's always fun, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Four kids traveling, doing your thing. The family's awesome. We appreciate you. Vetter's doing a lot of the stuff. You know, but Tom always has, you know, kind of Trump power. I mean, he's, you know, there's there's a handful of quarterbacks that kind of have that ability, that veto power. I think Cam, Drew, Peyton, kind of all those guys, the, the super smart, smart, cerebral guys, they always have that ability where they're they're kind of the final answer. Trump card, you meant? Is that what I said? What did I say? He said Trump power. Yeah, like Donald. <laughs> Trump all right, card. grammar police over here. <laughs> it's not grammar police, it's just... I, you know, because there's people probably tweeting you immediately. Yeah. Oh, you like hey, bald white. <laughs> we're, not, yeah. we're not allowed to mention that word anymore. Well, it's a Trump card. It's the thing that's been said since the beginning of time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah. there's literally, that's. Uh, which, what are you, January 6th? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's AJ's birthday. I was in San Diego. That's AJ's oh, birthday. Yeah, yeah. That's AJ's birthday, by the way, January. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah. Celebrate, celebrate heck of a four. birthday party. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> up, there, up there in D.C. at that's a heck of a crazy. birthday party. Huh? I was in Columbus. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah I'm sure, sure you were. Oh, that was where they said, don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Uh -huh. Down there at Sumter? No. Yeah, that was Bunker yeah, Hill. I think it was Reagan Revolution. shot cannons at the yeah. ships. This, yeah. Uh, I started in Boston. I was like, Bunker <laughs> Hill. Pinch you ask. Why is it called Bean Time? Because we're just nasty at flicking beans. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I had I had heard that. No beans are safe. I had to guess. <laughs> flipping beans. <laughs> flipping beans. All right, let's dive into some sports. Hi. What's up, pretty girl? How are you doing? Good. How's, Do summer, you how's summer been with your dad? Yeah. No. What did you oh, ask her? Fuck off. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got nothing, Dan. I got nothing Thanks for her. Sorry about it. Good to see you. Yeah, she's the one. She wants you to take that box when you got your boo boo. Oh, she knows my wife. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Oh! Oh, yeah. You want me right back over. You're too cute not to. How's Second in the family. How's right, summer been? How's summer been? Bye. How's your summer been good? Yeah. Summer been good? Okay, you yep. look great. Good to see you. See you. Dan, you're going to watch his back and you're going to see that I might have let a fuck off slide whenever she said she didn't remember me. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. She didn't deserve it. We, uh, we forgive you. All right, cool. She want you back. Uh, so we forgive you. She, she did. She want me back. Yeah. She want you back pretty quick. How old is she? She's six. Okay, so full sentences. Right? Can she write? Yeah, dude, she's six. She's not two. Well, How do I, I mean, know? what's the difference? <laughs> what, 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 can, use phone? She's got three older brothers, though. So, like, every younger kid does things faster because of the older brothers. Dog. Okay, so at what age do, does she start speaking, like, full sentences and understanding things that are happening around her? I think, like, four. Eight, four years old, it started happening for her. But I think the older brothers factored that in a little bit, being around so many older kids and stuff. Hey, what's going on? Earmuffs, 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 earmuffs. Everybody, earmuffs. Earmuffs. Right. Guys, go outside. Yeah, I oh, she's six years old. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard oh, for they're good. Ooh, they're making popsicles. popsicles. Oh my god! It's like 110 degrees getting popsicles. <laughs> yeah, I want one. Oh my god! What a good time. Do a Lasky house. Um, are they in earshot right now? No, you're good. Okay, so like Ty just had a baby. For the next four years, I can just drop as many fuck bonds as I want around, so, and that won't be a thing. Once she'll she'll become a sponge at the age of four or five. Yeah, I mean three, you could start to like pick some stuff up, but. They're, you know, like, I don't, they're not going to comprehend what it actually is. They've got friends who tee it off and let it fly. Jeez, uh, not in that yuck community. Up until, up until three, I think you're clean. Okay, good. All right, perfect. Good to know. Uncle Pat's still a fan favorite over there. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I had a kid, that's right. What's that? Yeah, I just had one. Congrats, Ty. Yeah, Congrats, Ty. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Shocking someone had sex with you. That's awesome. No! Oh, 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 
God! I mean... <laughs> Low-hanging fruit. He's like the 400th person to say. Jake Laser used that as well, so congrats, Dan, you know. That's, so, hey, he's saying a uh, hack joke. Big basically. time. Oh, big time. time. But I respect oh, it. Oh, oh. I, never, I never claimed to be creative. <laughs> Good. How is he gonna do the? How did, does Pat know how he's gonna go back and forth from commentating to wrestling? Uh, I I don't know. I'm I don't, not I, sure. I, I you have to tune I, in and find out. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah exactly. tune in on the on, <laughs> yeah, on the Peacock. It's a premium. Do you guys work for the cock? Boom. Well, uh, it depends. For Peacock? No, not Peacock. Oh, no, I meant you work for Peacock as you're promoting. <laughs> you got to tune in, Con. Yeah, obviously. You got to promote, promote the program. What are yeah, you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Nothing. Move on. We're gonna, I guess, okay, so I asked a question on, the other day on the show. I said, is Kyler going to have to come up with some alternate username? So when he plays, <laughs> like, I assume when, he, when he's playing with FaZe Clan, when he's gaming online, like, that's public for people to yeah. see, right? Oh, yeah. You can tell when someone's, like, online playing, like you just said, especially. I mean, if he's playing with FaZe Clan, I assume that somewhere in that contract there is an addendum. Did, like, did, hey, you can't play video games with FaZe Clan during the season. Did you have AOL? Did you have AIM uh, when you were younger, AJ? Uh, oh, yeah. I had Instant Messenger. What was your course. screen name? Rock Solid 1. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy, I had, a Bengals, I had a Bengals poster on my oh, wall, yes. and I had to come up with my username, and it was the three Bengals players, and it said Rock Solid on it. I was like, here okay. we go. That's that was pretty sweet. Name. Okay, actually. well, I, I think still, I haven't played it actually in a couple of years, but for PlayStation or Xbox, like you can like have like Game a notification on, on for like when he signs on. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't have like the door opening sound, I don't think, like that, but it will tell you like <laughs> when Kyler signs on to play a game. So like anyone who's on the network will know that Kyler's on playing, yeah. Yeah, it pops up on the bottom. Like if you're friends with Kyler Murray on Xbox, it will pop up on the bottom like at Kyler super fast guy. So he's got 22. a burner, there, right? He has to have a burner. Has to, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I assume yes, but also he like he probably cares about his stats though. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't want to mess oh, up yeah. his kill death ratio in any games. Yeah. He doesn't want to have that on like a fake account. Like and if he has also, a super good game on his burner, he's gonna be pissed that it wasn't on his. Yeah. Exactly. Real life. And I assume a lot of the time he's playing, he's playing with somebody who's either like streaming on Twitch. Or he's playing with somebody who, you know, has at least some eyes on it. So I don't see how he can play video games. I think he's going to have to put the controller down for a little while. But it feels as though it might be kind of tough. What they should have done, now best of both worlds, is he should have had to have played Madden for eight hours a week. Yes. And there you get go. used to fucking reading defenses and watching film that way. Against like, your opponent, yeah, too. Like, hey, if you're playing, exactly. you have to play. Like, you, you can publicly play... Uh, you can publicly game, but you have to be playing whoever that next opponent is that we are facing. Well, I think they have like an ability to actually put the Cardinals playbook into the game so what? that he can use it. No. I, I swear to God, I think there was a situation with like the Panthers maybe in 2014, 2015. That's wild. Around there. I, see, maybe you might be able to Google it and find it. But where with they Cam? actually with Cam and they actually had the Panthers playbook in the game so it was easier for their, for them to like learn what they're supposed to be doing for like the wide receivers and the running backs and the quarterbacks. It's a good idea though. Yeah. It, like but then if, if, you could, if he stops throwing to like Hollywood Brown when he's playing, like, you know, does Hollywood Brown like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> like I'm not I'm not in the game plan this week. Yeah, you know, thirty catches this season. Yeah. What the hell? Uh let's go to the phones. Oh, we're out actually. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. Yep. Are you a double? Yeah. yeah. Flood and break. Oh, we fucking stack them up then. Uh, <laughs> right. It's really good for advertisers. Nice 10 minutes of nothing coming up on Perfect. Sirius XM Channel 82. <laughs> Mad Dog Sports Radio. Yeah, that's just nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're running. Actually, just got in there, too. We might be off a second. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. It's whenever we press it, so I don't know. No, not for the hard one, I think. This would be a so, hard out. No, because we could miss this one, and we get in trouble. Well, get in trouble. What does that even mean? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, you gonna scold me, dude? AJ, is oh. he, are you gonna scold me? I hope not. Well, yeah, what does that mean? Get in trouble? I don't know, like an email. Get yeah, strongly exactly. worded. Hey, hey you better, I'll do that again. You better fix that now. Hey, that situation's fascinating. The serious one. I mean, yeah. What? Yeah. What is that situation? <laughs> We're coming up a pretty good deadline. Pretty good. Pretty solid. Pretty hard out coming up. Yeah. No conversation. <laughs> It's awesome. They, they got to be thinking something one way or the other, don't, I don't they? I don't know. I think they're just yeah. not. I think it's just like, ah, they'll kind of just fade away. Mad Dog's on first take, so. 
He's been on there a lot. Stephen A. got a month off for his shoulder. No, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't get a month off. It's not a month off. No. What did no. he get done? What did he get re- completely rebuilt or what? Yeah, I don't know. Labrum maybe some other side. Have you surgery? tried talking to a fucking microphone with a shoulder injury? It's impossible. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's go to the phones. Is it really digs? I haven't had a shoulder injury like that. It's unbelievable, dude. Right, but think about Stephen A.'s run there <laughs> with the NBA uh, show Countdown. that they were doing Countdown. Mm-hmm. And then morning, and then the whole thing. The halftime. He was on a run there for like good two months straight, I think. Yeah, yeah. Got COVID, what, a couple yeah, times after yeah. that as well. Is this I mean, a complication from? Well, no, I think he tore his labrum because every day after they're done with first take, he goes down to Navy Pier and hits the batting cages for 45 minutes or so. That's, okay. I remember that. Yep. That's well, why he's hitting they, the mitts, too. Yeah, well, that's why they put well, the studio there, actually. Right. So he couldn't like, do that. Hey, I need to hit at least 35 balls in the cages. Ryan, new dome on the field. Here Ooh. we go. What do you want to talk about? Hello, Pat, boys, how you doing? Keep moving. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Um, I want to talk about um, last week you guys were talking about uh, the Champions League. No, not the Champions League. My, my bad. The mm-hmm. NFL coming to, uh, going to Europe and um, how it's going to Germany and London uh, this season um, for a couple games. And now uh, last season, Champions League, um, they're actually – Talks about coming to the U.S. for a final, but both that parties um, were uh, a little bit shaky because of the fan bases and uh, them thinking it was not right with the fans. I want to get like your opinion on it. Okay, thank you, Ryan. That dome. How did that happen? Can we pull that up? Can we, can we this clip that landed, and pull that this up? This thing landed. There's a little what? hole in this thing. Yeah, landed right in the middle of it. Obviously, I did that on purpose. Unbelievable. Yeah, that needs to. Can, can we? Is there a replay we can throw it back to? Yeah, I can pull it up. I mean, that, <laughs> that was that's absurd. There's only one ball that fits in this thing, right? So, like, yeah, what are the odds here? It's got to land flush. Yeah, that's lethal shooter with the nail rim. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me. Huh? Couldn't even hear a word that guy was saying. No. Nope. Well, the answer to whatever he was saying was, ah, who cares? <laughs> that is so rude. I Thank you. Why? Thank you. I, I was so, listening. I, I missed, and I missed you. you doing that. Yeah, because yeah. I, mean, I was trying to figure out what he was saying. Man, that was pretty good. That was yeah. unbelievable. Oh, we have replay. Let's bring yeah, it down. Here we actually go. saw it happen. This is during Ryan from Chicago's question. Pretty good balance, pretty good juggle. I start getting a little bored. The ADD starts kicking in. I'm going to go high with this thing. I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'll start bashing. Yep. Boom. Boom. In the bucket. (laughs) 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 It's unbelievable. I was very, very excited for that. Yeah. I'll never do it again. I think that's the show. Yes. Good way to end it. I think that's the show. I still have not seen somebody wear their own jersey in public then. Okay. I'm happy we can go back. Carlos. Did it say say Wilson on the back though? Well, we haven't seen it. I saw a lot of Broncos fans and uh, Russell Wilson's fans uh, going, that's Boucher's jersey, you idiot. And I was like, oh, no. Did I miss? Because that would be a mess. That's not. He's number nine. Yeah. And also, Russ can't watch PG-13 movies. (laughs) (laughs) Right. <laughs> My kids love that movie. Well, your kids are also drinking beer out of Lord yeah. right. at that's the true. age of yeah. six in 2022 somehow yeah. without services getting called. Yeah. That's Ohio. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of a difference in there. But Russell Wilson was created to be an NFL quarterback. Yeah, he was. And if he was quarterback for my team, I'd be fucking pumped. I see him show up in his own jersey. I might, <laughs> I might have some questions, but I'm also thrilled that this guy <laughs> loves being a quarterback as much as he does. And then you, you, you think about Aaron, how <laughs> Aaron dressed up like Nicholas Cage from Con Air, and then <laughs> Russ is wearing his own jersey. I was, we were laughing a good 30, 45 minutes last night as I was putting a pitch stitch together of them next to each other, and then the entire conversation. I mean, there's just different ways to do things, you know. And everybody, Wait, why did Aaron throw his back? I thought you would have an answer for that, hopefully, by the way. I wanted to ask him. I, I told him he should have dressed up as Garland Green. If you know that movie, that's oh, a different character. Nice. Steve Buscemi. What's wrong with you? Ooh. He's, <laughs> got, he's got a sordid past. <laughs> <laughs> Garland Green, not Aaron. Garland Green. Okay. Uh, oh. Let's move on. Massive brawls. Definitely got to keep an eye on Lions Camp next week. Yes. Strictly because anything that we see will be on Hard Knocks. Ooh. Right. So we'll get some behind the scenes on that. I assume that linebacker who didn't do the up-downs, like A.J. Hawkwood, is probably going to get cut next week as well. I mean, we'll see. Hopefully hopefully, uh, Dan Campbell did not see a clip of Pat 
calling that guy out who was not getting his chest on the ground. Oh, he did. Yeah, he saw it. MCDC sees everything, so yeah. he saw it while it was. Happening. You think they do? Honestly, especially during camp, I know they have PR people that like present them usually packets of like, hey, this is what they'll probably ask you about today when you talk to the media. But I'm sure some coaches are very like dialed into what's going on in the world, and most coaches though have no idea outside of football. Well, isn't like. I mean, for something like that, I would assume that really sticks out when a guy's really not given like any effort whatsoever. Like that, there's no way that's kind of like getting swept and if under you, the rug. Ty, right? think about that though. If you're Dan Campbell, if you're the head coach, I don't want to cut you off, but if you're the coach and you know, okay, not only are we doing this, like everyone's not all in, and it's a public thing that this video is out there for people like us to watch and call him out. I would imagine Dan Campbell's like, hey, that's on me. I got to get that guy right. Like I can't have anybody not fully all go like all in on what we're doing so i'm sure he's probably pretty pretty pissed off yeah i'm so fucking sick of this man get this fucking guy out of here man especially what if Lou holtz did up downs uh i don't know if he did up downs. uh actually lee little one season was we were doing up downs and see burlon broke his wrist and was out six games and he couldn't play in the game for the jewels slightly against usc so we never did up downs after that <laughs> That's I thought good to know. I thought Rudy and Lou Holtz kind of did up down together in his office. Well, believe it or not, uh, Eric Parsegia was the head coach. And Dan <laughs> Devine was the head coach. I never had the uh, the honor of being able to coach Daniel Rudy Rudiger, but I did look for players <laughs> like him. Of course. Coach, are you guys going to join a conference? Uh, I don't know. Does someone want to pay me $70 million a year? Because until they do, we ain't joining shit. We're independents. We are Notre Dame. What if Lou got a better start chance saying things of, like this? What do you mean? What do you mean? They have a better chance of slapping a, a target symbol on touchdown Jesus' forehead than they do of us joining the conference before next year. Boom. Is Lou still on TV? Yeah, yeah I, think, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Dr. Is he still yeah, breathing? Dr. Lou, every, Dr. Lou and Mark May every fucking Saturday. Oh, yeah, that's still happening. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. That didn't stop 12 years ago. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> He's a staple. I think I watched that when I was in college. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you did. It's been off the air for a while. Oh, man, Lou's still doing his thing, though, right? That's, uh, that's yeah, he's good the man. For yeah, he's a beast. He's probably still doing speeches, I bet, to uh, different teams.